bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Well, I'm glad he could join us. Uh, Stanley Williams is back with us once again, Stanley E. Williams. And, of course, he is the co-founder of a, the Lorraine Hansberry Theater. And uh, with him is Deborah Henderson, who is now the star of a new show that's coming up. Nice to have you both here. And uh, Stanley, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Good. You know, it's good to be back. You're laughing. You're doing. Come on television. You got very serious all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Your whole persona changed. <laughs> it's just not. You know, we're having a happy time. Oh, here. good. Good. Yeah. Good. Okay, tell us about Black Nativity. It's a new show that's coming up, right? Yeah, it's really exciting. We it, it, It's a new production this year. Uh, huh? This is actually the 11th season. It's huh? the 11th season. And what we do at the Lorraine Hansberry Theater, which is one of the things I think that stand us apart, is we work with all of the uh, community. And um, that's why I'm so excited by being able to introduce a new artist working with us, uh, Deborah Henderson. Deborah yes. Henderson just happens to be here, too. Yeah, and she just <laughs> she happens, happens to, to be, be <laughs> sitting here right now. And, and Deb, uh, you have a professional background, of course. You have a new CD out, is that right? Yes, I do, Jeff. Huh? And wh what is that called? It's called Higher Ground. Uh -huh. And give us a little background on that. It's um, it's, it's a compilation of 15 uh, songs. Uh -huh. You can get some praise and worship, you get traditional music, you can get contemporary, some for every uh -huh. age. Okay, well it sounds like you're lucky to have such a nice performer here, someone oh, with yes. a professional I'm, background. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very, very excited about it. And, yeah. and you'll get to see, she'll, she's going to lead us out with a song. Uh -huh. Today? You, yeah, you didn't know that? No, I oh, didn't well, know that. Oh, well, now we know. I didn't know. Bring okay. it up <laughs> <laughs> you know? Okay, now, the, the theater the, uh, is, uh, is a movable feast, right? I mean, it, you've been it, moving around uh, looking for a permanent place. Is for, that for, right? for, for two years. This is the second season. Yeah. I'm, I, w w the joke around the offices is, is that we're the traveling Negro theater. I, just, that's yeah. that's I didn't joke. notice that either. You didn't really. <laughs> so that's yeah. the joke around the office. You yeah. know, Jack, the, the problem in San Francisco is that there's over 235 small and mid-sized theater organizations. Right. And the city leaders have not tried to solve that problem. If you look at it from a financial perspective, we bring in more audiences than the Giants and the 49ers. That's how many people come to see the uh, theater production. I don't mean Lorraine's Red Theater alone. No, I mean all combine all right, of these sure. groups. And somehow the city has not tried to solve the problem. What do we do uh, for performance spaces for these organizations? So what begins to happen is I'm, I'm now having to deal with managing real estate. So now, you know, when I rather be in a dark room with the actors working on stage, I'm now dealing with issues of managing real estates. And so the next election coming up, we're working very close with all of the candidates. I want you all to understand that. And unless you very seriously put the arts on your agenda on how to solve these problems, then you're going to have some problems in the elections. Okay. All right. Well, um, you know, I, I, I hope you can find a permanent theater. I mean, because you've done a lot of good things in there, and this show sounds like one of them, you know. And, and Deborah, when you come into a show like this, um, wh where does the script, where does the story come from? Where does the, mm -hmm. you know, is it different each year, even though it's called, have the same basic name? It, it is, but Deborah can easily chime in on this because it's just simply the Bible. It's Luke, Deborah, from the, um, the Christmas story. Yes, it is. It's a Christmas story, Emmanuel, mm -hmm. um, the Son of God, and um, we uh, also do it in our churches, mm -hmm. you know, and, and tell about the story and the birth of Jesus Christ. You know, one of the things that struck me about you is I'll bet you started singing as just a little person. You seem like, <laughs> am I right? <laughs> yes, you are, Jack. Maybe you were a little bigger than this, <laughs> but you were still just a very young person when you started singing. Was it started in church, did you? Or I did. A lot of people started in church. Yeah, yeah. I did. In I've never community. sung anywhere else but church, you know, uh -huh. seven years old. Uh -huh. yeah. and did you have to audition? I did it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I combed through her CDs. And so, uh -huh. but what we're going to do, Jack, is for you. We're going to have her lead us out with a song. Well, you better start doing it now because yeah, okay. we're just you about ready? out of time. You Let's ready, remind yeah. everybody, okay. Black okay. Nativity, and it starts December 16th, right? Yes, yes. Okay, and located now at? At the Marines Memorial Theater, Marines. 609 Sutter Street, and Deborah Go. Okay. Right. Deborah, Put your hands in the hands of the man that steals the waters. Put your hands in the hands of the man who calms the sea. Take a look at yourself and you will look at others.